The GW Geckos and Father Duaneus Friars took to the GW field for the 2018 IFL season opener. FD entered the game with the record for most consecutive wins, a record set against the Geckos last year. FD didn't waste any time getting on the scoreboard. Nick Anderson showed some love to his brother Brian, hooking him up with a 30-yard touchdown. The PAT was good for the 7-0 lead. GW got some help from the Friars' defense, forcing them to commit some costly penalties. The Geckos took advantage of their trip to the red zone as running back Shelby Meeks punched the ball in for the score. FD still leading 7-6. Junior running back Kean Artero was the workhorse for the Maroon and Gold. Play caller Bruce Menno called his number on the first play of the next possession. Artero answers the call and took the handoff 60-plus yards to the house to put the Friars back ahead. GW scored a defensive touchdown late in the second quarter off an interception, turned to a pick six, down 14-12 with time winding down on the clock. FD's defense would hold their ground and prevent GW from scoring right before the halftime whistle blew. The Friars led 14-12 at halftime. GW came up with another big defensive play in the second half to regain the lead, recovering a fumble in the end zone for six points. PAT was good, 19-14, Geckos up. Kean Artero and quarterback Nick Anderson sealed the deal down the stretch for FD. Artero finished the game with two rushing touchdowns. Nick Anderson distributed the ball and kept the chains moving for the visiting team. The streak continues for the Father Duenas Friars as they defeated the George Washington Geckos 26-19. The Simon Sanchez Sharks forfeited their first game of the season to the Ukulu Bulldogs. The JFK Islanders Closed the door on the Southern High Dolphins for the 23-0 shutout win Saturday night. JFK's special teams play and defense was the recipe for success. Nico Velez pulled down the game's first touchdown courtesy of quarterback Alan Bland. Velez, a new pickup by the Islanders, fit right into the offensive system. Kicker John Sarmiento kicked through the point after attempt and later hit a field goal to give the home team a 10-0 lead. Justin Camacho added to his team's lead after finding an opening in the defense, shaking off defenders for big gains. Camacho ended the drive with a short touchdown run. Allen Blend went in for the game's last score while the defense took over and kept the Dolphins out of the end zone. JFK will now face the 0-1 Teason High Titans on Saturday at JFK. Teason lost their opener to the Guam High Panthers 52-0. Guam High and FD meet up this Friday at Guam High at 7 p.m. Double I Double A G Girls Volleyball, the GW Geckos picked up a two-set win over the Harvest Eagles 25-17, 25-22 over at the GW Gym. GW also picked up a two-set win in the JV game 25-9 and 25-23. The JFK Islanders defeated the St. Paul Warriors in two sets, 25-20, 25-23. Triple J, G, and YFF youth football results now from the weekend. The Cowboys and Raiders meeting up in the Munhud division. It was the Cowboys winning 26-0. Met good 26-7 Raiders. And in the Matua game, it was the Raiders winning 26-7. Packers and Steelers, Munhud game. Packers take the win 14-7. Steelers take the next two divisions, 27-0 in the Met good and 34-0 for the Matua game. The Angels and Outlaws met up at Raiders Field. It was the Angels sweeping all three divisions. 27-0 for the Munha, 28-0 for Metgut, and 28-0 for the Matua division. Eagles and Broncos. The Eagles take the Munha game 20-0 and follow up with win in the Metgut division, 26-19. And in the Matua game, it was a tie, 6-6.